So January 1, 2014, I became mayor. Uh, for the six months leading up to that, the reason I wanted to become mayor was I was just frustrated with what was going on in Atlantic City. The budget was up to $260 million. Casinos were all providing most of the income that was there. Uh, the, the city should have been pristine. People should have been begging to come and live in Atlantic City. Uh, business should have been knocking down the doors to be able to open up business there. The city should have been clean and landscaped, and the boardwalk should have been pristine, and, and it was none of that. That. And crime was on, on the rise. Uh, people living in, in the residential parts of the city didn't feel safe. Uh, and I just saw a lot of waste. So I thought I was coming in, cleaning up the city physically, uh, cleaning up what I thought was uh, too many employees of the city. Um, and then when I actually got in the office, it took me a week to realize what no one else had admitted. And that was that because of all the tax appeals, specifically from the casinos, the city now owed the casino $600 million for money they paid in taxes that they should not have paid because of a bad uh, assessment. Now, $300 million of that was uh, spent by the schools. Schools don't have to pay that back. So we had a $600 million debt now. And we had a $100 million shortage because once uh, everyone had their taxes and their assessed values reappealed, you lost 85% of all the assessed values in the city. So uh, I, I become mayor, and you could see just from the physical condition of places like the Atlantic Club and uh, the um, uh, Trump Marina and, and um, the um, uh, Trump uh, Taj Mahal, that they were not being maintained. You know, they were dirty. Uh, carpeting wasn't replaced. They had duct tape uh, on on the cracks, and and even the uh, uh, some of the um, um, uh, property itself was no longer working, like like the uh, escalators. So you, you knew the properties were in trouble at that time. So when the casinos closed, it was devastating. You had uh, a, a third of the people that worked there, meaning a third of the families that no longer had the income that they had before. I, I really think that Bob McDevitt and Local 54 did an outstanding job. They created a venue at the uh, convention center and brought everyone together. Uh, as mayor, I remember calling up Atlantic Care and asking how they could help. And they came back and said that they were going to forgive all of the debt that anyone had that lost their jobs at the casino that they owed to casinos. We called four or five of the major lending institutions and asked if they would give a one-year uh, period of no payment for mortgages. So it extended the mortgage for a year, but people had 12 months not to get there. We had people from the state. Uh, both from unemployment office, helping people immediately start with their, I think it was about $700 a month uh, in, in unemployment. Uh, the state also extended it for another 26 months so you could go for a year, uh, making sure you had years, at least received $700. And we also had uh, the unions um, there in case you wanted to tap into your 401k. Uh, Faith-based leaders were there. Uh, as well, a couple of local imams, uh, priests, uh, ministers, pastors, just to help counsel people, and, and I was there with them. So that's what I think I remember most, is being grateful to see the community come together and realize that we were in tough times, and the people lost their job, didn't have any reason to lose their job, other than the business is failing. But they weren't part of the problem, they were still part of the uh, solution. Um, and, and so I think that that was the biggest issue, seeing a, a town that was glistening and everybody was making money and stuff, all of a sudden go to everyone being unemployed, or at least having some member of your family, people on your street that, that needed help. Now, what, what I saw in, in my neighborhood is all of a sudden, it was like 1950s and stuff. You were inviting uh, families to stop over and enjoy a dinner with you, or as you baked, you were sharing it with your neighbors, and, and likewise, they were doing it uh, with us. So I think that concept of the family coming together to help became much more obvious. Now, I don't think you thought about it. You just automatically did it. So even the person uh, that was 
elderly that was on a fixed income, they could bake some extra cookies. They could bake some more uh, uh, muffins in the morning, or they could share some macaroni and cheese with neighbors. And that's what I really saw. So it was good to, to be an American at that time. It was, bit, it was good to be an Atlantic City resident to see people actually helping.